our monetary policy is expansionary and it is, has to remain expansionary because we still have a very difficult situation. We have negative inflation, we have a negative output gap and the Swiss franc remains significantly overvalued. So that's exactly the reason why we continue with our monetary policy. Last night, the Fed hiked interest rates by 25 basis points. We're looking at two or three more hikes in 2017. At the same time, the ECB is extending its bond purchases. What does that mean for your job that you're doing at the SNB? Well, first of all, it's very positive that the U.S. economy is on track. Uh, the decision by the Fed shows that uh, the situation is improving. And this is a very positive sign, not only for Switzerland, but for the world economy as a whole. Of course, the situation in Europe remains more difficult, and that's exactly the reason why monetary policy in Europe remains uh, expansionary. And that also means that we have to continue uh, maintaining negative interest rates in Switzerland. We've seen two major risk events, political risk events this year, Brexit and then the U.S. elections. We know that at least for one of them, you did intervene in the market as you confirmed that. We've got plenty more political risk coming up in 2017. Is it safe to assume that you'll continue that path, that strategy of intervening actively in the currency markets? Well, we continue our strategy. And exactly, uh, we try to stabilize in case uh, we have higher volatility in the exchange uh, market. And so we continue with our policy, which is really based on two pillars, the negative interest rates, but also the willingness to intervene if necessary in the foreign exchange market. The 108 level has been seen as a level that you want to defend. Are you comfortable with that level? Well, there has never been any specific level. We always look at the overall situation at the foreign exchange market. But as I mentioned before, we look very much at the foreign exchange situation. And if necessary, we, we are ready to intervene. You have slightly cut your inflation forecast for the next two years. And I wonder why that is, because at the same time, you also acknowledge that there's some inflationary pressures coming through for the world economy, specifically under a Trump administration. Why are you cutting your inflation forecast? Well, the changes are really only marginal. So the starting point of the inflation forecast is a little bit lower than the previous one. But if you look really at the medium term outlook, there is almost no change in the inflation forecast. So it's more or less the same. But of course, future changes uh, may have an impact. So oil prices uh, may have uh, an impact on the uh, future inflation forecast, but maybe also a future change in U.S. fiscal policy.